today is uh, Friday, the the eighth of October, 2021, and we are at the convention center, the Judge Brown Convention Center of Houston, and we are part of the Texas Municipal League. 2021 annual conference. Today is the last day and it's a half day meeting. There are sessions which are ongoing, which are dealing with uh, the three uh, risk areas that most cities face. Legal experts are going to address those areas. There is a keynote speaker who is closing the meeting uh, this afternoon. The Exhibit hall and room is open from 8 to 10 a.m. and there are already uh, participants who are in there. We have had uh, three days of deliberations, discussions, presentations. Uh, the directors of the municipal health departments had a meeting which address COVID issues in two sessions. There was also a session led by one of the participating mayors that addressed the COVID money from the federal government. There are some municipalities and cities that have not applied, which means they have not had the money for their city and they were told the procedure and methods to apply and how to do that. Some were also told the restrictions, the buckets under which the monies could be used and those which do not apply. So in a couple of minutes time, there will be the keynote speaker here to address uh, participants as part of the closing ceremony. It's been three days of non-stop meetings, deliberations, information, social gatherings, the Hispanic leaders, the black leaders, and others also had special sessions and special social gatherings. This is the last day of the 2021 Texas Municipal League Annual Conference where resources, know-how, is given to municipal leaders who manage and run their cities, whether they are people who are involved in economic and development, waste management, public safety, public health, and related departments, mayors, departmental leaders, and others have spoken during this meeting. I am Dr. Thompson Akwantuba, international political leader, physician, communicator, chief editor and publisher of Health and Development magazine. And we know that Health, which is the third SDG, a Sustainable Development Goal, is related to the other 16 that make up 17 SDGs, including the Health, whether it is water, cities, climate, partnerships, poverty, hunger, and the others. The cities have been in the forefront of the response of the COVID-19 pandemic. And city leadership has mobilized resources, engaged the communities, 
and mobilize community participation and partnership in that area has also been very, very positive.